Hi guys, quick video. It's Scoggins about the Beezer game. So this is kind of one of the first things we're going to get started with. I love the Beezer game. Whoever created it, well, it was crafted by Mark McKay of Method Action, um, did a phenomenal job with this game. It really has a great fundamental foundation of using the pen tool. It doesn't get into every crazy little thing you can do and it doesn't work exactly the way the pen tool works, but it's a really great way to kind of get started and get comfortable with clicking. So I'm going to start down here with get started. I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to kind of walk through the tutorials with you and maybe do the first one. Um, but I challenge you to see how high you can get in the Beezer game. So it's got some little directions up here and we're going to come up here and just follow the tutorial. You can replay it at any time, which is really nice and it kind of shows you what it wants to do. So we're just going to click and it's going to tell me I have two nodes left, which are the anchor points. And ta-da, I finished because it moved me on to the next one. Now it's telling me to hold on the shift key and the shift key gets us a straight line. So we use that often to keep us straight. So I'm going to click and hold down my shift key. Oops, see, and I messed up already. I can undo, which is nice. I'm going to click, I'm going to hold down the shift key, I'm going to go to my second. I'm still holding that shift key down, and I'm going to go all the way around until I get my little house. And it's fun because it's got fun colors that, like, change on a gradient. So I like anything with a gradient. All right, now we're going to be doing curves, and it's going to show you how to pull an anchor point and draw our little circle. So we're just going to click and follow and drag up, and we're going to pull a curve. Click and drag. We'll and we're going to go all the way around until we get a circle. We are going to be doing more with this when we get to our pen tool exercise, which is nice. Now we're going to learn how to draw a heart using the pen tool. And again, they've got the tutorial and you can watch it as many times as you want. Where it popped right there, that's not what it actually does in the program. So just kind of keep that in mind. So we're going to click and drag. And it told us to hold down the Alt key before we release. And we're going to pull that handle up and line it up. And we're going to come around here. And we're going to do the same thing. Click and drag. Lining up our handle. We're going to grab that Alt key to move our handle and change the direction of our curve. And then we're going to finish up at the top. So now the directions are over. And we get a little Volkswagen Beetle. And it's going to show us kind of where we want to start. It doesn't matter which direction you go. You can go any direction you want. And it kind of helps you by using the, the things it's already shown you how to do. So I'm going to click. And it tells me I have 14 nodes. That's part of the game. And I'm going to hold down my shift key for some of this so I get a nice straight line. This is at half of a circle. So I'm going to do it the way they showed us in the tutorial. And I'm going to pull a half a circle. And then I'm going to come up here and finish my circle. And I'm going to do a straight line for the bottom. Pull my other circle. I'm going to follow around the curve. Now this is one complete curve. Some people start here. I like to pull the curve from here personally. And this is when you can kind of play with those anchor points. And you kind of get your handle the way you want. And then I'm going to release. And now if you notice, my curve is wrong. So I have to use that Alt key technique that they showed us how to do. Where I'm going to pull my curve back up my handle. So now I can have a straight line, except for it didn't like it and didn't want to accept it. And I can kind of go back and keep adjusting. And if it doesn't like what you've done, see, it doesn't like what I did because I didn't pull that handle in far enough. It won't let you move on, which can be a little frustrating. I will totally grant you that. But I really like this game. And when you get it the way it likes it, it finishes and it tells you you've 14 nodes out of 15. Could have done better. I think I did fine the way I did it. And then I can move on to the next stage. And from here, I'm going to let you figure it out for yourself. All right, guys. Enjoy.